Hey everyone, welcome to another video on my channel and in this video we are going to make the third part of the long term short straddle strategy series. So we have already made two parts where we have first covered how you can enter long term short straddles and also how you can manage the long term short straddles. So this is going to be the third part and also the final part where we are going to discuss what are the important measures that you can take to manage your risk. So the risk management techniques for long term short straddle and also how you can position size your long term short straddle. So these two are the most important things when it comes to any trade, whether you are doing it for short term or long term. So risk management and position sizing are the most crucial aspects. And that is what is going to be covered in this video. So now let's quickly move on to the screen recording before which uh, if you are finding this content valuable, do not forget to hit the like button, share this video and also hit on the subscribe button right away. Hey guys, welcome to the screen recording. And in this video, we are going to discuss about position sizing and risk management in long term short straddles. In the previous two videos, we had discussed about how we can enter the long term short straddle and how we can adjust it. So before we actually move on to this video, first, I'm going to give a quick recap of the two videos. You can also watch the detailed video. I have attached the link in the description below. So in case if you haven't watched the first two videos, I would first recommend you to finish watching that and then watch the third part. So if you have already watched it, I'm just going to give a quick recap before we continue. And in the first video, we had discussed about creating a long term short straddle. So right now, if you actually look at the market, Nifty is trading somewhere close to around 19,400. So in our first video, we had done a research where we found that there is an 80% chance where the market is actually going to end in green on a year to year basis. So that means when you are actually taking from January till December, so there is an 80% chance that the market is actually going to end positive. And we also saw that the average rate of increase is almost around 10%, approximately around 10%. So based on this uh, data, which we had collected, we decided, okay, whenever we do any long term short straddle, it is better that we do a slightly bullish short straddle because whenever we are doing long term, we are having a farther away view. So it really doesn't matter what Nifty is trading right now or what Nifty is going to trade in a month because we are generally looking at least for six to 12 months. So based on which uh, we thought it is ideal to do something like a 21,000 or a 22,000 short straddle in nifty so this is more or less the gist of the first part where we discussed why it is better to do slightly bullish short straddle right uh, so i have made a detailed video so do check the description where i have explained in detail how we got this 80 percent and also we have done the calculation in detail so do check that out so now in the second part we discussed about how we can adjust our long-term short straddle trade so for example, let us say uh, you have created a 21,000 short straddle. So how you can adjust this in case if the things start to go wrong. So in adjustments, we mainly discussed two parts. One, if you have taken a directional bet. Two, if you have taken a non-directional bet. So let us say uh, you have taken a directional bet, which is uh, creating a 21,000 short straddle. Then you can simply end up cutting your short straddle in case a major support is breached. So we know for a fact that Nifty currently is trading at 19,400 and it has a very good support coming in at 18,600. So almost close to around uh, 800 points away, we have a very important support, which is at 18,600. So given this, there is not much you can do when adjusting a directional based short straddle. So what I am going to do is simply wait for the market to break 18600 on a weekly time frame. So this is very important when we are doing long term short straddles for six months and one year, we are not going to use shorter time frames like 30 minutes, one hour and so on. So the minimum what you should be looking for is at least weekly. So on a weekly time frame, if we are breaking 18600, and since it is such a deep in the money short straddle, you cannot do much about adjusting this short straddle. So the simplest way is simply to book the loss 
cut your position and enter a new non-directional short straddle so i have again discussed this in detail in the second video so do check that out so this is the first way of adjusting if you have taken a directional bet so directional bet is either you have taken a bullish bet or a bearish bet so the second type is where you actually end up doing a range bound trade let's say you have created a 19500 short straddle and market you know is currently around 19400 so when you have created a range bound short straddle simply mark the important support and resistance zone so in this case the important resistance is around 20000 for nifty and important support is going to come in again at 18,800 to 18,600 level. So once you have marked the important support and resistance, so that is 20,000 and 18,600. So simply wait for the market to either break on the higher end or on the lower end, right? So wherever the market is breaking, cut your loss making leg and push it away. So for example, let us say, market actually ends up breaking 20,000. So the important resistance is now breached and the market is actually going up. So all you have to simply do is cut your 19,500 call. So you would have shorted 19,500C and 19,500P. So cut your 19,500 call option and simply short something like 21,000 or 21,500 call option. So you are going to cut your loss making leg and push it farther away. Similarly, if it is actually breaking on the downside, you can very well cut your loss making leg, which is the put leg and push it away maybe to 18,000 or 17,500. So this is the gist of the second video on how you can adjust the short straddle in case if you have created a directional short straddle or a non-directional short straddle. Again, uh, you can check out the second video. I have attached the link in the description where I have discussed in detail regarding the same so if you haven't watched the first two videos i would first recommend you to finish watching that and then move on with the third video so now i'm going to come to the most important part which is risk management and position sizing so whenever you're taking a trade it doesn't matter whether you're taking say intraday trade or weekly positional trade or long-term trades right so the most important thing is your risk management and position sizing because your overall profitability is only dependent on how you manage your risk so in the long run what really matters is not how much you make when you're right but how much you lose when you're wrong so that means lesser you lose you will actually end up being more profitable in the long run because your winning days is going to make up for your losing days so i am going to give you a simple rule of thumb based on which you can end up sizing your position right so in risk management what we are going to do is first try to determine what is going to be our maximum risk in case if our important levels are breached so let us assume that i have taken a directional short straddle and i have created a 21000 december end short straddle so i have shorted 21000 calls and 21000 puts Right. So right now the market is trading around 19,400 and as we discussed in the first part, the important support is coming in at around 18,600. So now I know for a fact that in case if the market actually ends up breaching my support, my maximum risk can be around 800 points. Right. So this difference is almost close to 800 points. So in case if Nifty actually ends up falling or coming down tomorrow, so I am going to cut my trade such that my risk is going to be around 800 points. So once I have determined this, so if I'm going to lose 800 points on a single lot, that means my maximum risk is actually going to be around 40 thousand rupees so once i have determined this that it is going to be anywhere around 40 to 50 thousand i can size my position such that so this 40 or 50 thousand rupees shouldn't exceed three to four percent of my capital so this should be the maximum loss i am going to book even though if it hits my stop loss so that means if 40 thousand rupees is actually four percent of my capital then my total capital required for one lot is actually going to be 10 lakh rupees so that means for every 10 lakh rupees i have 
I can end up creating one lot short straddle for long term. So if I have 20 lakh rupees, I can create two lots. If I have 50 lakh rupees, I can create five lots. So now you determine how much risk you are willing to take. Let us say if you are willing to take total of 5%, you can actually end up increasing it. So now I'm going to give you one more example. So assuming that uh, instead of 19,400, the market was actually at 19,000, right? So doesn't matter where the market is, whether it is at 19,000, 19,800, your support is still going to be same as 18,000. 600 so your support is not going to change right so but you can see what exactly has happened here now your maximum risk is no longer 800 points but it is only 400 points right so if it is going to be 400 points then your maximum loss is going to be 400 into 50 which is going to be around 20,000 rupees instead of the previous 40,000 rupees, right? So 20,000 rupees is your maximum risk. So if your maximum risk is 20,000 rupees, and if this has to be around 4% of the capital, so then you can very well go one lot for every 5 lakh. So your position size is going to be one lot for 5 lakh capital. So you can see your position size is more or less the factor of how much risk you are going to take. In case if you are actually entering when the market is around 18,800, you can actually enter more position. Or let's say if you are entering when the market is actually at 19,800, then you can enter lesser positions. So when it comes to risk management and position sizing, first try to see how much risk you have in total in terms of points. So whether you have 800, 500, so what is the total point risk you have? and then try to determine how much of the capital you're willing to risk. So whether you're willing to risk 3% of your capital or 6% of your capital. And depending on that, you actually end up picking your position size. So you can determine for how much capital, how much positions or how many lots you can go. So sometimes it is going to be for every 5 lakh, you can go one lot. Sometimes it is going to be for every 10 lakh, you can go one lot. So this is a very important thing which you can do to make sure that your maximum loss is always within your acceptable risk limits. So make sure that you lay a lot of importance on your risk management and position sizing. So this is not just for your long term short straddles. You can also use it for any kind of trade you want. First determine your risk and accordingly size your position. So before ending this video, I'll just cover two more important aspects which are more like follow-up questions to what I have covered, right? So now the first question you might ask is, Saket, if I am actually using 10 lakh per lot, so actually to create a long-term short straddle, you do not need a lot of margin. You might just need around 1.5 lakh, but right so 1.5 lakh per lot so then what do we do with the remaining margin so simple answer to that would be deploy it in intraday trade deploy it in weekly position trade and so on and in case if you can't trade on an intraday basis or weekly positional basis then there is no compulsion that you have to actually end up deploying all of your capital so just let it be as it is so anyways you would be mostly doing it on a pledge margin so do not keep cash margin to do it so first buy stocks pledge your stocks and only use the pledge margin to sell long-term options so that way you can have double benefit right so since you would be doing it on pledge margin there is no hard and fast rule that you have to end up using your entire margin so always give first prominence to the risk so now the second question would be what if there is a gap down of 10 to 15 percent tomorrow so we have determined the maximum loss i am ready to take is 800 points but what if the market only opens around 1200 to 1500 points lower so for this so now uh, assuming that i have created a 21000 short straddle right and my maximum risk which i'm willing to take is up till 18600 right so now if i actually take a look at 18600 put option on a weekly basis it is simply going to be trading at 1 or 2 rupees so maximum of 3 to 5 rupees right so usually it would be trading just around 1 or 2 rupees which is almost around uh, 6 to 7 percent away so now simply pay this 1 or 2 rupees and buy your weekly hedge 
so you can be uh, totally free of any worry because you know that tomorrow even if it is going to open 10% or 20% gap down you do not have to worry because your weekly hedge is going to take care so simply buy a weekly hedge at 18600 18600 put option and you can end up managing your risk much better so just one or two rupees would be the cost on a weekly basis but it is going to protect you in case of a black swan event also so with this uh, we also come to the end of the entire long term short straddle series so this was three part series where we covered the entry management of the trade and also risk management and position sizing so i hope that you found some value in this particular series if so then do not forget to hit the like button share this video and also subscribe to my channel and do let me know in the comment section so did you like the entire series and if there is any feedback that you want to give me so please feel free to put the feedback in the comment section so definitely i would be reading each and every comment and in the upcoming video i will try to implement your feedbacks thank you so much guys